panic in the subway, a gunman fires more than 30 bullets, hitting 10 people on a train in Brooklyn, New York. Plus shocking video, a woman run down as robbers go after her expensive watch. Latest efforts to stop these violent attacks. And cool and windy weather blows into the Southland. We're tracking big changes in our forecast. But first tonight, we begin with breaking news out of Victorville. San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies now responding to a shooting inside the Victor Valley Mall on Bear Valley Road. We're told at least one person, a girl, though we don't know the age, was injured and taken to a hospital. This started around 6.30 tonight. Well, deputies say several stores are on lockdown right now with both employees and customers inside as they work to clear the area and continue their search for the shooter. We do have a crew on the way right now. We'll, of course, bring you updates as they become available. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Jeff Vaughn. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I just got off the train. I stayed by some police officers. These terrifying moments in a New York City subway. Ten people shot, five now in serious condition. And tonight, an urgent manhunt for a 62-year-old person of interest in that case. We're told his name is Frank James, and he rented a U-Haul truck in Philadelphia that was later found just blocks from that attack. KCAL 9's Elise Preston has the latest tonight from New York. The morning rush hour attack terrorized a subway station in Brooklyn, New York. We are truly fortunate that this was not significantly worse than it is. Police say a man wearing a construction vest and helmet detonated two smoke canisters on the Manhattan bound train and opened fire, shooting at least 33 times as the train pulled into the station, striking seven men and three women. There was people screaming for medical assistance. It was just a scary moment. Police found a key to a U-Haul truck at the scene and later Tuesday located the truck parked in Brooklyn. Investigators say a man identified as 62-year-old Frank James rented the truck in Philadelphia. They're calling him a person of interest. We are endeavoring to locate him to determine his connection to the subway shooting, if any. Police say James possibly made concerning comments online about homelessness, New York City and Mayor Eric Adams, whose security has been increased. We're just doing it uh, just to be on the safe side. President Biden was briefed on the shooting and said the Department of Justice and the FBI are working closely with the NYPD here on the ground. My wife, Jill, and I are praying for those who are injured and uh, all those touched by that trauma. And we're grateful for all the first responders who jumped into action, including civilians. Police say they don't have any information yet about the gunman's motivation. Elise Preston, KCAL 9 News. Well, that subway attack in New York has raised security concerns with passengers who use mass transit across the country. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen has more on what is being done to keep local trains and buses safe. The concern has been over the possibility of a copycat, which is why you will likely run into a police officer or a deputy in uniform when you walk down that hall. In the wake of the shooting at a New York subway station, security has been stepped up on transit lines and stations in Southern California. We met commuter Jose Vasquez at Union Station. I actually come to think of it now, there is higher security. Yeah, I just realized that. Very important because it acts as a deterrent for those who may be copycats, uh, but it also acts as uh, a comfort for the for the uh, commuting public to know that the police are there. Former and LA County Sheriff Jim McDonald says local, state, and federal investigators are checking the shooting suspect's digital footprint along with physical evidence.